For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do uh, this problem where they want you to find the resultant force and, facts and find where it acts on the beam measured from A. So we have two shapes over here. Let me draw them. We got this rectangle right here. And we got this triangle right here. You know that the equivalent force of a triangular distributed load acts one third from the big edge. That'll be one third. One third of 4.5, we're measuring from A. One third of 4.5 is equal to 1.5 meters. And then we have this rectangular force on the equivalent force of a rectangular distributed load acts right in the middle. So let's call this F1 and let's call this F2. Now, <clears throat> it acts right in the middle of the rectangle. The whole rectangle is 4.5 plus 1.5, <clears throat> which is 6. And half of 6 is 3 meters. So, F1 is equal to this length, not the long length. Don't mess it up. Now this is equal to 6 minus 3, which is 3 kilonewtons per meter. So F1 is equal to 3 kilonewtons per meter times the length of the triangle, which is 4.55. Okay. So 3 times 4.5 over 2, because a triangle, don't forget, it's an area. So it's equal to 6.75 kilonewtons. F2 is a rectangle, so it's 3 times the length of the rectangle, which is 6, which is equal to 18 kilonewtons. So the resultant force is equal to the sum of them two, the sum of F1 and F2, and comes out to be 24.75 kilonewtons. The moment about A is given by F1 times the lever arm that is turning which is 1.5 let's say clockwise is positive since they all turn it clockwise plus F2 times 3 so when you plug your numbers in you're gonna get that the moment is equal to 64.125 kilonewton meters this is the resultant force and to find where it acts on the beam measured from A, you find it by the moment of A is equal to the resultant force times the distance, which is the use what we're trying to find. The moment is 64.125, the resultant force is 24.75, and the distance is the variable we're trying to find. So D comes out to be 2.59 meters now is d to the left or to the right it's obviously to the right there's nothing to the left of of a but it's to the right because the moment is clockwise if the moment is clockwise d has to be to the right of a if it's going down of course so it's at 2.59 so i would say somewhere around here actually a little more let's say right here that will be f r Final answer, final answer for the moment, and final answer for the resultant force. Assuming down is positive, obviously. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.